Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Coolmax 700 watt and the 1000 watt power supplies. What's included is the power supply cable, user's manual, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, modular cables, and the power supply. This particular product comes in two different wattages, 600 and 700. Today I'm looking at the 700 watt model and it certainly has enough power for today's computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And they're essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 180 watts and the 12 volt is 500 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt is 28 amps, the plus 5 volt is 30 amps, and while many power supplies still only have one or two plus 12 volt rails, this power supply has three. The plus 12 volt one is 16 amps, two is 25 amps, and three is 17 amps. This ATX 12 volt version 2.2 power supply meets all the new environmental standards including ROHS, today's latest testing standards and protection. Now there are a couple of important factors to note when purchasing a power supply and that's its efficiency and does it have active PFC. It's recommended to get a power supply that's about 80 percent efficient or better under typical load. As for APFC or active power factor correction, this is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Let's have a closer look at the power supply. Right away you'll notice that it has a high gloss paint finish and a very large 120 millimeter fan. This fan will provide ample cooling power and there are also lots of ventilation holes. Also note that this power supply is completely modular. This applies to all the leads including the main motherboard leads. This modular design not only looks great but it's very functional. Only using the leads that are required cuts down on the cable mess inside the case and thereby increasing Airflow. Here's the power switch and the power cable connection. This power supply has lots of modular leads and they are all sleeved. Finally, have a listen to the 120 millimeter fan. Now let's have a look at the CTG 1000 watt model. What's included is a power cable, user's manual, and the power supply. This particular product comes in three different wattages, 750, 850, and 1000. Today I'm looking at the 1000 watt model, and it has enough power for the most power hungry computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And they're essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 280 watts and the 12 volt is 800 and 50 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. 
The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt is 30 amps and the plus 5 volt is 50 amps. Now, while many power supplies only have one or two plus 12 volt rails, this thing has four and they are all 19 amps. This ATX 12 volt version 2.2 power supply meets all the new environmental standards including ROHS, today's latest testing standards and protection. Now there are a couple of important factors to note when purchasing a power supply and that's its efficiency and does it have active PFC. It's recommended to get a power supply that's about 80 percent efficient or better under typical load as for APFC or active power factor correction, this is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Now let's have a closer look at this power supply. Right away you'll notice its size. This unit is longer than most power supplies and that's because of its high wattage. Just compare it to the CUG 700 watt. You can see this one is much longer. This power supply comes with a silver paint finish and two 80 millimeter fans. These fans will provide great cooling power and keep the inside of the power supply cool. Here's the power switch and the power cable connection. This power supply has lots of leads and they are all sleeved. And notice that the four pin leads have easy grip connectors. Finally, have a listen to the two 80 millimeter fans. There is a clear difference between both of these different models. You've got the CTGs, which are pretty plain looking, offers lots of power and no modularity, really targeted towards the server side of things. And you've got the CUGs, which are really targeted towards the gaming industry. Modularity, looks great, and a very quiet 120 millimeter fan. But both of these offer really clean, stable, quality power and that's what's important. Both of these products are kick-ass. Again my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register. And remember registration is completely free. Also keep in mind you can find a lot more on both of these products in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. Oops. The plus 5 volt is 50 ants. Ants. 50 ants. It's a lot of ants, man. To the S C man, not S. C U G. There is a clear difference between the C T G and the C U G. The C T G, the C T G, the C T G, the C T G.